if that is clearly established, uh, perceived in myself, I see the, the thing operating in my daily life, then what takes place? Space means silence. Mm -hmm. If there is silence, if there is no silence, it's direction. It's the operation of will I must do, I must not do, I must practice this, I must get this. If all this should be, should not be, what has been, what should not be, I regret, all that operates. Therefore, space means silence inwardly. That's very deep, very, very deep. It, archetypally, we associate manifestation as over against latency with sound. Yes, sound. And what you said puts the whole thing in, into an astonishing Silence isn't, in, isn't the space between two noises. Silent isn't, isn't the cessation of noise. Silence isn't, isn't something that thought has created. It comes naturally, inevitably, as you open, as you observe, as you examine, as you investigate. So, then the question arises, silence, hmm? without a movement, mm -hmm. movement of direction, movement of thought, movement of time, or silence. Now, that silence, can that operate in my daily life? I live in the field of noise as knowledge, that I have to do. Mm -hmm. And can I, can, is there a living with silence and at the same time the other? The two moving together, two rivers flowing in balance, in, in, not division, you follow? In a harmony, there is no division. Is that possible? Because otherwise, if that's not possible, I can, to be deeply honest, I can only live there, in the field of knowledge. You, I don't know if you... Oh, oh yes, hmm? yes. So, I, for me it is possible, therefore, I'm not saying out of vanity, or I say this in great humility, I say that is possible, it is so. Then what takes place? Then what is creation? Is creation something to be expressed in paint, in poem, in statue, in writing, in um, being about a baby? Is, cre is that creation? Or does creation need, the, or must it be expressed? To us it must be expressed, to most people. Otherwise, I'm one feels frustrated, anxious, I am not living, you follow? Mm -hmm. All that thing. Mm -hmm. So what is creation? One can only answer that if one has really gone through all this. You understand, sir? Otherwise creation becomes rather a cheap thing. Yes, it becomes, uh, in terms of the word expressed, simply something pressed out. Pressed out, of course. That's all. At all. Yes. I just, like the writer, literary people, who are, some of them are everlastingly in battle in themselves with tension and all that, and out of that they write a book, become famous. Hmm? Yes, the psychological theory that works of art are based on neurosis, yes. <laughs> yeah, <that's> <laughs> which means I'm driven. Yeah. So what is creation? Hmm. Is, is it something, a flowering in which the flower, flower does not know that it is, con that it is flowering? I don't... Exactly, have I, exactly. Have I made it clear? Yes, you've made it very, very clear. 
all through our conversations, the one word that has, for me, been like the clean blade of a two-edged sword, has been this word, act. Yes, sir. But not act over against inaction. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. Not, not uh, action as over against um, the philosophical term of its opposite, passion, which is a different use from the, from the one that you were using in our conversations. But sheerly act. Act. Sheerly act. So, so see what <laughs> takes place. Huh? Creation in my living. Mm. You follow, sir? Mm. Not mm. expressing, uh, creating a beautiful chair, this or that can may come, that will come, but in living. Mm -hmm. And from that arises another question, which is really much more important. Thought is measure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so as long as we cultivate thought and all our actions based on thought as it is now, the search for the immeasurable has no meaning. Mm -hmm. I can give a meaning to it, say there is the immeasurable, there is the <coughs> unnameable. There is the eternal. Don't let's talk about it. It is there. It has no meaning. That's just a supposition, a speculation, or the assertion of few who think they know. I've one has discarded all that. Therefore, I ask, when the mind is utterly silent, what is the immeasurable? You follow, sir? What is, what is the everlasting? What is the eternal? Not in terms of God, and, you know, all these things man has invented. Actually, to, to be that. I don't know, sir. Mm -hmm. <coughs> now, silence in that deep sense of that word opens the door, because you've got there all your energy, not a thing is wasted. There is no <coughs> dissipation of energy at all. Therefore, in that silence there is summation of energy. Precisely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not stimulated energy, not self-projected energy, and so on, so that's all too childish. There's, because there's no conflict, no <coughs> control, no reaching out or not reaching, mm -hmm. searching, asking, questioning, demanding, waiting, praying, none of that. Therefore, there is tremendous, all that energy which has been wasted is now gathered in that silence. Mm -hmm. That silence has become sacred. Mm -hmm. Because obviously. Of course it has. It has not the sacred thing which thought has invented. No, not the sacred over against the profane. And, and, and all nope. that kind of stuff. No, mm? no. So. It is the only such a sacred mind can see this, the most supreme sacred, the essence of all that is sacred, which is beautiful. I do. So there it is. Mm -hmm. God isn't something that man has invented or created it out of his image and longing and failure. <coughs> but it when the mind <coughs> itself becomes sacred, then it opens the door to something that is immeasurably sacred. That is religion. And that affects 
the daily living, the way I talk, the way I treat people, the conduct, behaviour, all that. <laughs> that is the religious life. If that doesn't exist, then every other mischief will exist. However clever, however intelligent, however all that. 